Pretty and Prime Believer by, I mean, Primer by Believe. That's not, it's just not going to be great. <laughs> Hey, you beautiful, sexy humans. Hi, my name is Elle, and welcome to my channel. Hi, I'm Elle. Today, I have a new makeup tutorial for you, and if that's your jam, keep watching. You might notice that my lips don't match the video today. That's because it's from a live makeup session on Saturday mornings on IG. Feel free to hang out over there with us. I love to have you. That's on Saturdays. I usually try new techniques and answer as many questions as possible while I'm on live. And then y'all have fun helping to shape the look that I'm doing that day. But anyway, that's enough talking. Let me go ahead and explain to y'all what I'm doing in the video today. So all great makeup application begins and ends with great skin prep. I use Believe Beauty's Pretty and Primed Hydrating Primer and paired it with a Dove Moisturizer and then I massage that in for about two minutes. I personally prefer to moisturize my skin and have it as hydrated as possible. I then followed up with Believe's Be Believe Beauty's Eyeshadow Primer. Once the skin is prepped, we move on to our brows. I'm using the Browy Wowie Automatic Pencil in the color Dark Brown. Use a spoolie in to brush your brows, then draw a line from the beginning of your brow to the arch and repeat on the top, then fill in. Let me know if you all want a detailed brow video down in the comments. I then set my brows with an ELF wax pencil, which my mom got me from the Dollar Tree. Don't you just love the Dollar Tree and don't you just love a mom who has a good eye and knows what you like? Anyway, we're going to move on to carving out those eyebrows. The technique I use is to help people who are not very good at blending out their eyebrows. So what you do in order to carve your eyebrow, I'm using the LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color Cool Tan. You want to fill in on the bottom outside and the top outside of your arch and your brow and then drag any excess um, concealer that you have on your brush in order to carve out the rest of your brow. This technique emphasizes your natural arch or the arch that you created in order to make it stand out. This technique also is really good for the days that you wanna do a no makeup makeup look. I forgot to put my lips when we were doing our skin prep, but I just put on a lightweight cocoa butter lip gloss in order to soften my lips to prep them for a lip stick and or lip gloss application later. Next, we're getting ready to do our eyeshadow. Here's a quick tip. Do your eyeshadow before you do your face because any fallout from the eyeshadow, you'll be able to cover it up a lot easier than trying to clean it up after you set your whole face. Today I'm using Morphe's 35XO palette. It has so many amazing pinks and neutrals, which is perfect for our eye look today. We are doing a buildable look today. So I'm starting with the color Talk Fillings in my crease and upper lid. Make sure that you avoid your actual lid area. That's for a completely different color. Next, I'm gonna go in with the color Eye Contact which is a light soft pink. Place that on the lid. And then we're gonna go back in with talk your talk feelings. I keep wanting to say talk your feelings. <laughs> with talk feelings and begin to create the shape that you want. Today, I'm creating a cat eye. You wanna go from the bottom outer edge of your eye and angle it up towards your eyebrow. Um, that's if you're creating a cat eye shape. Or if that's not your jam, don't do that. You don't have to. Um, you want to then use that same color to start building out the cat eye and just follow the same line that you would as if you were lining your eye if you decided to do the cat eye or a different shade just to add some gradient to your eyeshadows. 
I'm then taking a fluffy brush, it's clean, to buff out the edges of my shadows, any harsh spots, and blend it all out. Blending is your friend. Blending makes everything look amazing. Then just go back and repeat everything that you just did on this side and do it on the other eye. I wanted to add a little bit more pink, so I'm adding some more pink in order to make that stand out on my actual lid. And then of course, if need be, then you will buff it out and blend it out. I'm then gonna go in with the color Kiss Me to highlight my tear duct area and then add um, Kiss Me also to my actual eyelid on top of that light pink eye contact color. Remember, using your finger goes a long way. Now we're about to line our eyes. In order to do an easy cat eye, you wanna go from the outer outside edge, go up towards your eyebrow um, as long as you want your cat eye to be. I was on live when I did this and everybody wanted a really dramatic look, so we went big. But you wanna go from the outside corner, go up towards your eyebrow, then draw a line just like you saw here and then go back and fill it in like you're coloring anything else and then finish out lining your eye. Now that we're done with that, it's time to move on to our foundation. Today I'm using Believe Beauty's Liquid Skin Finish Foundation in the color Sand. And I'm using my favorite big fluffy brush from ELF. It's a fluffy foundation brush. Remember, before you actually start putting your foundation on, if you have a setting spray or a small water bottle, spray and dampen your sponge or your brush. Now it's time to highlight and contour your face. I am using LA Girl Pro Concealer in the color tan. You wanna dab a little at the inner corner and on the outer corner. Remember that a little bit goes a long way. You don't need to add a ton of concealer. On the outside, I'm just cleaning up that edge where my eyeliner or my eyeshadow might have dropped extra um, in order to sharpen those lines. Now you want to highlight your forehead, down the bridge of your nose, your chin, and your mouth, and then your under cheek area to support your contour. I'm going to go in and contour with Believe Beauty's Coco, um, and we're gonna do our cheek area our, and our forehead. A tip is that if you let your concealer sit and dry out just a little bit, it lasts longer and it lays smoother. I learned that from Auntie Jackie. I'll have to give y'all story time when I figured it out on my own one day. But then it was confirmed by Auntie Jackie and I was like, oh, we didn't strut gold here. Then with a damp brush, and I'm using my foundation brush and another separate fluffy brush, you want to go in and begin to buff out your highlighted concealer areas. Being careful not to mess up your eyeshadow or your eyeliner. Um, but go ahead and buff out all of your highlight points first, then with um, your separate brush, um, do your contour areas. And when you're doing your darker contour areas around your hairline, remember to brush some of the product into your hairline so that it doesn't so that it doesn't look like your makeup stopped and then your hairline started you want everything to blend out perfectly we're going to move on to contouring our nose now i was not trying to do a super snatch nose that day but i did kind of a little bit on accident and yes, this is a trust the process. That's what that laugh is for. <laughs> Cause it looked weird to me cause I hardly ever contour my nose. But yeah, you just wanna put a couple of dots and that's the cocoa and from Believe Beauty again and brush it into your eyebrows. I have yet to try a different way of doing this but I think I'm gonna start off by contouring my nose first because it's kinda erased my the beginning of where I filled in my eyebrows 
a little bit and I didn't really like that so I had to go back and fix it but I'm gonna go in now with the blush this is a creamy blush stick from APY Beauty um, she does have a sale right now everything's 50% off and you want to put that on the high points of your cheeks and brush in and I really really love this because cream uh, foundations liquid foundations and cream blushes they kind of all just kind of meld into the skin now you don't necessarily have to do this but everybody on the live wanted me to go for a much more dramatic look so i just brushed the color all the way up and above my brow in order to add blush on a good part of my face and then i set it with her powder foundation um her powder blushes and you want to use a swoosh effect with the brush you don't want to brush it in and strokes because that will cause all of the products that you've used to start shifting around you want to really just kind of press it and pat it and do little small circles in order to get it to set like that all right moving on to your lashes you want to brush mascara into your lash to prep your lashes for the false lashes i'm using broadway style black 29 I got these from my local beauty supply store. I'm going to show you two different techniques to attach your lashes. Um, the first one is if you have a wand glue uh, applicator, then you can line your eyes with the glue and then go back and add the glue to your lash and then go back and uh, let them both get tacky and stick your lash on that way the second way which is the one that you see inside the video is you add an absurd amount of glue to your lash you tap it on your eyelashes and then allow both to get tacky and then place your lashes we are now going to begin to set our face i'm using black radiance loose setting powder i set the bridge of my nose and now i'm setting the highlight spots um, under my eye and down the sides of my nose and where we did the highlight under our contour earlier we're going to set that I'm using a small brush because you don't have to use a lot and you don't necessarily have to bake once it sits there for a second you can go back in and brush the excess away or just let it sit until you're done with the complete process I'm going to then use a medium deep set and powder from Believe Beauty and set all of my contour spa uh, spots and brush that into the rest of my face. I'm going to also set the darker contour with that and I'm going to use a clean brush, which this is actually my blush brush, um, to remove any excess powder after that and blend everything out. Now you're going to see me go back and re-add um, some blush because I erased some of it when I was using the light satin powder. I lined my lower lid with white in order to make my eyes pop out and look a little bit bigger and brighter. And then I added talk fillings down up under uh, uh, on my lower lid. Now for the mascara trick to make your bottom lashes really pop. You want to take the tip of your mascara brush and run it along the ends of your lower lashes, then brush the product in. I'm using Maybelline's Colossal Lash because it's one of my favorites, but I am looking for another mascara. Any suggestions, let me know, let me know down inside the comments. I quickly highlight the tip of my nose and the small part of my bridge with a highlighter and I'm moving on to my lips I'm gonna do a really glossy lip today so I'm using one of the stickiest lip glosses from the beauty supply store the 99 cent and I'm going to add that to my lips and then I'm gonna go in with yummy from APY Beauty and put that right in the middle and that's just a light pink and no, I'm not using any um, lip liners because my lips have a natural gradient that I, it just worked for the look that day and I actually love it.
Now that our look is complete, we're going to set our face with the ELF setting spray. You can get this from any Target or you can order directly off their website. I want to thank y'all so much for joining me today because period, this look is giving what it's supposed to give. I'm gonna turn the light off so that you can see what it looks like in real life because this is what we're gonna look like everywhere. And yes, it's still giving what it's supposed to give. <laughs> thank y'all so much for joining me. I'll see you next time. Why is always what you doing? It ain't never, I ain't never had nobody show me all the things that you could show me in a special way. I feel when you hold me, we gonna always be together, baby. That's what you told me and I believe it because I ain't never had nobody do me like you. 